So yeah, it was a fantastic win uh, at the Hawthorns on Saturday. Albion got their season kick-started with a 1-0 victory over Bournemouth. But there was plenty of questions after the game, weren't there? Obviously, Nasser Chadley uh, and Solomon Rondon, their, their futures are uncertain. And we do understand that Tony Pulis uh, is willing to listen to offers for the Belgian. If you remember, Chadley and Pulis fell out uh, earlier this summer uh, before the trip to Austria, which Chadley refused to go on. Now, we do understand that things have patched up since then. The relationship is a good one. It's a working relationship. Uh, but Pulis left Chadley on the bench uh, for Saturday's game and he brought on 17-year-old uh, Rakeem Harper instead of him uh, for Samfield, which was very telling, uh, wasn't it? And we understand that Pulis is willing to listen to offers uh, for him. Swansea are believed to be interested uh, should they sell Gilfie Sigurdsson to Everton for a whopping £50 million, which is uh, a deal that we understand is moving closer. Uh, and flush with all that cash, uh, perhaps Swansea will come in with a big offer for Chadley. Uh, and a year after, Albion paid £13 to £15 million for him, uh, if they came and blow them out of the water with a £25 million pound bid, uh, it would be hard to turn down. But fans will want uh, a replacement in, won't they, for Chadley? Because obviously uh, the, the squad is still thin, despite that win uh, on Saturday, really papering over the cracks of a small squad. Um, the board are hoping to get two new players in by the Burnley game this weekend, uh, with Pulis targeting a centre-back and a central midfielder. So it'll be, be interesting to see what that. Stay tuned to Express the Star for the latest on those pursuits.